So why don't we just take our first moment and our first question, why don't we go through how does white space fit in the entire scheme of an outdoor wireless network versus other solutions like a five gigahertz, a three, six, five gigahertz solution? How does white space fit? Yeah, and and I know it's been it's been talked about a lot over the last, oh, I don't know, three to five to ten years, et cetera. And it's a it's a nice complement a complementary uh, solution in spectrum. And and I have used the term several times and one of my Customers use it recently where, where the term uh, every spectrum has its place, right? Uh, we are uh, industry leaders in 5 gig, you know, a, a technology leader in 5 gig. And what we see is TV white space really complements that 5 gigahertz spectrum or even our, our 60 gigahertz products that, uh, you know, is coming out uh, where TV white space, that spectrum, the benefits that that spectrum provides over maybe 5 gig, where 5 gig is great, it's a nice complement to my fiber backbone. Fiber can be expensive when you get to a certain point. So how can I get out to those people, you know, a few miles and get some nice speeds out to them where I have line of sight? 5 gigahertz, great. We'd love to do it. But then we have the more challenging areas. I mean, we've got the rural areas that have got vegetation and it's hilly and it's kind of tough to reach these guys that are just out farther and farther. And in this world that we are, you know, unfortunately all living in, everybody needs, uh, you know, connectivity. You know, my kids have been schooling from the home on and off for the last year. Uh, we've got these rural areas where these kids need to get on to school or, you know, whatever the application is. But TV white space hits that spot, that niche where we're in a rural area, kind of tough from a vegetation, tough to reach, even with five gig uh, trenching fibers like, you know, that's just uh such a, a price uh, hurdle to get over. So TV white space is introducing just another spectrum where I can get some nice distances, speeds, and really reach out to that rural areas that are still needing some of our internet connectivity. Very cool. So you are reaching, you know, we hear about fiber, we hear about backhaul, multi-point, we hear about last mile. This is your last 100 feet Maybe not. Maybe that's hyperbolous, but it's uh, definitely last mile rural connectivity where there is a challenging physics environment. Lots of foliage. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if I call it last mile because it does have some decent reaches to it. But what I would say is it's it's kind of that real niche where I've got just those real challenges of foliage or environments and, and different you know types of interference that are like maybe a, a, a couple miles, but uh, I can't get to it with five gig. 60 gigahertz obviously is not going to fit because that's a real short haul. But, you know, this TV white space really gives us that that last niche area to to grab those those unique, you know, challenging spots that we can't get to it with other spectrums.